Hello, I'm Joby Bell, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the three-manual Cassavant in the Rosen Concert Hall at Appalachian State University. Um, this organ was built in 1984. It was put into a room that was built in 1983, and so the room and the organ were, were designed at the same time. Uh, this is Cassavant Opus 3579. It is 51 ranks, 46 stops, uh, spread across, of course, three manuals and pedal. And uh, before I demonstrate the tonal resources of this organ, I'm going to take you up into the organ. But uh, first, we need to get out a very long extension ladder. I'll see you in a moment. So I'm now at the top of the ladder, just at the very top, and standing directly next to the organ. There's the positive, and then we get into the pedal offsets, and then the pedal proper. And we'll go a little deeper in a moment. Now I'm standing here among the pedal stops, Here's the large wooden 16-foot contrabass standing right next to me. And then the rest of the pedal is on its own chest here with the bombard directly in front of us. And then, of course, this is just next to the Reci, and I have the door open into the Reci. And I also keep, I keep my own tuning knife here. Very nice uh, Laukoff tuning knife and I have some uh, ear protection that I keep here as well. So I'm now inside the Reci and that's the positive just outside and uh, my student Sarah is looking for some Grand Org notes for us to tune but meanwhile we're standing here in the Reci. Now to get to the Grand Org you have to climb this ladder and shimmy across this board and then climb this ladder through a trap door to the Grand Door. And I'll be up there in a moment. So I am now in the Grand Door, which is in the topmost part of the organ. And you see this wonderful view of the, uh, of the auditorium. And you can see Sarah down there at the console. Hello, Sarah. And then here's the Grand Org. And it's built on two chests. And I'm about to fix one Borden note that has gone silent. I believe that the pipe has just uh, been removed from its toe hole for whatever reason. It might have gotten bumped uh, when the technician left last. But you can see the wooden contrabass there against the wall. And there's the top of low C sharp. Okay, I have just finished tuning one offensive note in the Reci, and I decided not to make you listen to that. So here's one last glance through the uh, swell shades. Uh, that's the positive, and of course the Crumhorn is right in front of us there on the positive, and then the other, uh, the other stops. It's all on a single chest for the positive. Meanwhile, the Reci here is on two chests, as is the Grand Org. One level up is the Grand Org. And this really is a magnificent view of the concert hall. Other than the perils of climbing that ladder, it really is a, a wonderful feeling to be up here every time I climb up here to uh, fix something. Welcome back downstairs. Now that we're back, I'm back at the console and I have wiped off the sweat from climbing into the organ. But I'll take you on a tonal tour of this organ and then I'll play a piece for you. Um, the uh, pedal is uh, fairly heavily derived 
uh, it does have the Bourdon at 16, 8, and 4, all of which are a unit stop borrowed from the Grand Org, which contains that stop at 16 and 8. The pedal also has a unit bombard available at 16 and 8. There is also a 12-note uh, uh, Peterson extension for the 32-foot bombard. And the pedal also borrows uh, the oboe from the Racy at 16 and 4. But the pedal does have an independent 16-foot contrabass. It does have an independent 8-foot octave bass. And it does have an independent 4-foot octave. And it has a five rank mixture, which uh, contains a tierce rank. And here's a few notes of the bombard. We'll have to supplement that with eight and four. And that does go down to tenor C. Uh, there is an eight foot trompette on the Grand Org. It's a little bit on the Germanic side uh, as compared with the Racy trompette, which is a little on the French side. Here is the Grand Org trumpet. And compared to 
prepared to be received. The positive uh, has an eight foot bourdon, four foot flute a fuseau, four foot preston, two foot octave. There is a four rank sandal. There is a two rank sesquialtera, and of course, we'll have to supplement that. And there is a one and a third uh, quint. So those are the stops of this organ. Uh, I'd like to draw your attention uh, to the pipes, if you would. Um, if you are familiar with the Vert Principe style of building, you may notice that this organ does pay homage to that style, in that the three manual divisions are located in the center of the organ, and they're in line. The, of course, the gray seat is in the box, uh, buried uh, towards the back. The grandeur is on top of that, and then the positive is cantilevered on its own chest, hanging over the uh, brick wall of the stage. And so you can see the three manual divisions there among the pipes, and then the pedal, of course, is on either side. And of course, if we had a traditional case around this organ, then of course we would see those pedal towers, and uh, we would, we would uh, still have that Bert Prinsip uh, model at work. So this organ, of course, built in 1984, which was the sort of the heyday of the Orgo Bewegung. And so it, it does, it, uh, there, there was a deliberate attempt uh, in those days for an organ to play Bach clearly. And also uh, with this particular organ, there, was, there were uh, equal attempts to play French literature. And so as a teaching instrument, of course, this organ has been carefully designed to serve all students and just about all literature, and it has served well uh, since 1984. <clears throat> we are we are looking at uh, some rebuilding options to um, uh, revoice the reeds a little a little richer. We're looking to uh, increase the uh, uh, foundation tone on this organ uh, and to take care of a couple other things along the way. Uh, we're also uh, looking to get a new console built. This console has served as well, but it has played a lot of notes uh, under a lot of hands, and uh, uh, it's, it's getting to be time for a new console. Just a quick word about the room we're in. Um, uh, the seating capacity is 444, and uh, this room was uh, equipped with great big curtains which can affect the acoustics, and I have them all open uh, for the organ, and so our our reverb, reverberation time is right at uh, four seconds, maybe a little more. And if the curtains are all closed, then that comes down to about two or two and a half. Okay, um, I'm going to play for you the uh, Marche Religieuse, or March and Fugue on a Theme of Handel by Alexandre Guillemont. Please enjoy.